as they start to pick up the pace between three and four. Off the fourth corner, green flag is out. Slowed inside, Abel outside, Abel grabs the lead down here at the strike. Michael Barnes on the outside. Barnesy takes over the number two spot. Looking down to the inside of Sloan and his Dave Cruel. Sloan trying to hang on to third as they stretch him out. Cars too wide. Back in the pack. Bellinger on the move on the outside. As he gets by, Rivals, Rivals touches with Tyler Thompson. Tyler Thompson spins down here in turn number one. Pace truck down low into the rear pit gate entrance and Abel on it in a hurry. Here's Barnes in right with him. Barnes looking to the outside. Abel trying to hang on off the corner. Barnes on the high road down the front straight. Has to drop back into line. Here's Sitterly now to the inside of Gruel. Sitterly on the inside of Gruel. Finally Abel to the outside of Sites coming around this time. Two laps to go. Clear track ahead right now for Abel. Abel, the race leader, Sitterly in the number two spot. Gruel is right there third. Coming around down into turn number three. They'll have a lap to go. Well, they come off the corner this time. One more time around. White flag is out. I don't think they'll catch the 25 of Bose, but it's going to be close. On the white flag lap, Jeff Abel down in front. Sitterly running in second. It is Gruel in third. Off the corner they come. And the first Saturday night feature win for Jeff Abel. Abel gets the win over Sitterly. Gruel is third. Fourth is the 68 of Barnes. And Gosick got up for a top five. What a run for Gojo. Gosick started way back in the field. He started uh, 13th, worked his way up to the front. A great run for Gojo up to the top five, but in victory lane, a brand new face, well, other than the International Classic. You know what they I mean? won that first. If anybody goes in the pits after the races, you go take a look at that car. You know, you got a great driver, but the car, the engineering, just holding that wing on is amazing. That's a beautiful car. Oh, yeah, they did a great job. It's kind of like a Formula One <laughs> rear end. Well, I just like, it looks like Big Daddy Don Garlitz tried it like yeah. 20 years ago <laughs> with a center post on a wing. Yeah. All right, down in victory lane, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first 35-lap feature event. How about a great hand for Jeff Abel? Doug Cowles is down there. <laughs> Will you do that from up here? <laughs> Randy Ritzka's ASI speed cart down there at turn number one. Very proud Papa Pat Abel. And Grandpa Bill as Doug Kells is down there. He'll be talking to Jeff Abel in a minute, then uh, runner-up Otto Sitterly and third place finisher Dave Gruel. Doug, down to you. Well, Jeff, last time we talked, you said to be the best, you gotta beat the best. And uh, number seven was right on your bumper there at the end, but you got him. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we talked about last time for sure. And uh, track position was definitely the help here. Shorter race and uh, it's so hard right now. Lap traffic, even the lap guys are fast right now. Um, you know, nobody wants to give up space or do anything like that, but uh, I could feel Otto uh, behind me. I, I knew he'd be coming. I could see him up on the lap board, and uh, the car was good enough that I knew I could hold him off. I just had to keep picking up cars as best I could, and uh, um, I just, I got to say thank you to the guys with this. This has been a long off season. I can tell you this car, without the rule change with the wings, would have been in the scrap heap. We would have been starting scratch with the new car. Probably would have had to take the season off, and here we are in victory lane with this car. An old straight axle car, 10 years old. And we're out here winning a race, so I, I, I love it. I couldn't be more proud of my guys right now. Ready to go, O'Connor and Bartlett up there in the front row. And it's Greg O'Connor on the bottom part of the speedway bringing him down. Cameron Rowe right there in the number two spot. Cameron trying to chase him going down on the corner. Bartlett running third. Anthony Lasordo already up into that number four spot. Anthony with a good run going down the back straightaway. They're running two wide, three wide. Going down in between turns number three and four, coming around to complete a lap number one. It's Greg O'Connor, and he goes to 19-9-11. Quickest 
car out of the speedway. Rowe and Anthony Lasordo riding one, two, three. Anthony jockeys up to the outside part of the speedway. Now he looks down out of the inside. Boy, he is looking racy. Right behind him, and we got yellow out on the speedways. We got a car in trouble. And two cars in trouble. It's Pisa in the number 89. Steve Flack. And the other one is Steve Flack in car number 32. And they race down in between the corners off of turn number four. And a green is out coming off that fourth corner now. It's still Greg O'Connor up there in front with Rowe and Lasordo riding one, two, three. Lasordo going to the outside and also Sekolik. Sekolik going right to the outside. Boy, he made a move. Sekolik is now up to the number two spot. And he is on the move coming off of turn number four. They bring it down to complete lap number two. Sekolik second row is the leader. White flag is going to be coming out this time around. Anthony bringing him down off of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Anthony kicks out that rear end a little bit. But now he's able to pull away, moving down the back straightaway. Anthony cruising down into the number three corner. And he's going to be coming out of turn number four. Checkered flag is in the air. And Anthony picks up his first win of the season. Anthony Lacerdo, great move down this front straightaway to get, to get Brad there. Uh, I'm sure Brad's kind of disappointed. He, he wanted his first victory, but way to, way to get it done. Yeah, Brad was definitely better than us, I think. Um, it just worked out good. We got under camera going into one, and I don't know if Brad just lost his momentum or what the deal was, but got a real good run on him down the back straightaway. And I knew he was a little better than us, and I kept looking up at the scoreboard like I shouldn't and see how close he was, and that just made the nerves a little worse, but um, glad we pulled through. Well, Anthony Lacerdo in victory lane down here on Burke's Home Center, Bosco Knight. Congratulations. Thank you. There's a lot of people I got to thank. Uh, Mark Castelia, first and foremost, he's put this great Missile Motorsports team together for me and David Latulip. We both get to just come here every Saturday and live our dream. And um, all my sponsors, Paul Bank M, they've been a huge help. CH Sealants, JP Jewelers, um, Woodchucks, Cam's Pizzeria, Farmers Insurance. Um, all my guys, Stu, my dad, they bust their butts on these race cars all day, all week. Uh, Jared, Zach, Cass, my little brother, my mom, all the ladies that cook the food, we couldn't do it without you guys. And here they come out of turn number four, and the green flag is out! Jake Wiley in the double four, trying to get the bite in the early goings as they drag race it off the back, off of turn number two, down the back chute. Looking for running room, looking for an opportunity to try and fly is the number 29 of Bill Frisbee Jr. Frisbee tucks it downstairs, duking it out with the double four of Jake Wiley. He moves up into the back pocket. Give the nod to Finicherio, but he has a horn of traffic on his tail. Frisbee barking up the tailpipe, looking for running room. Here comes Robinson. Caution, caution, caution. They're stacking him up like kindling wood over in turn number one which we'll be talking about if we have another caution flag. And the green flag is out once again. Finicherry on Frisbee. They look like twins as they work out of turn number two. Finicherry on the eight on the inside. Frisbee on the outside. Frisbee getting a little bit loose and swirly into turns three and four. And Wiley looking for running room. Give the nod to Frisbee. He's got the bite out of turn number four. And the top position belongs to him. And Caution is out on the grid once again. Finicherio, give the nod to the eight ride of Finicherio, who's now in the third position with Scott Wiley in the number 98 in fourth currently. Willis now drawing along right behind Finicherio's eight ride. He's in the fifth spot. He's knocking at the door for fourth. He tucks it downstairs. The 75 and the eight duking it out. Through turns three and four, they bring it on down. It will be Finicherio, Curly in fourth, and the yellow flag is out once again, and we have a problem over in turns three and four at the apex. Hard on the binders, around in a ring, is the 04 ride. Wiley's running one and three, Robinson running two. Willis looking for running room already. The green flag is out, and we are racing once again. Here they
they come out of turn number four. White flag is out, no peacekeeping here. One more circuit here at Oswego Speedway as the double four. Jake Wiley trying to repeat what he did in qualifying, and that is take home the checkered flag for the feature event. Robinson setting himself up. He draws alongside to the outside. They're trying to drag race it. Perhaps a slingshot move out of turn number four. Give the nod to Jake Wiley in for the win. Nick Robinson in for second, followed by Scott Wiley third, Finicherios, Chris Finicherio fourth, and rounding out the top five will be Eric Downtown Brown. Hard contact coming out of turn number four as they were racing for positioning. Yes, Jake, are you Jake, are you excited tonight about this move? This absolutely means more than anything, man. I just lost my dad and my best friend, my uncle, not even a month ago. And they did everything with me, everything. I wouldn't even be doing this if it wasn't for my dad. He was one of the big time winners over at Holland and everything, and then my mom was kicked ass. I mean, it was just, it all came down through the family, and I didn't know if I could honestly do this anymore. And uh, this is, I'm just ecstatic, man. I, I have no words right now. I'm just on cloud nine. I'm so thankful for everyone that helps me, all my sponsors, uh, Bobby Lip, everyone who owns, runs this series. Thank you for having us come here. Everything, guys. I am so beyond thankful and happy. Thank you. Well, hey, we're, we're very excited that you guys came here tonight. And uh, hey, we'll let them celebrate. Congratulations, Jake, on a great win tonight. White flag has been displayed. The pace car truck pulling into the rear pit gate entrance. The Bury Motor Company Chevrolet Silverado. The field now starting to pick it up between three and four. It is Dancer and LeVay in the front row. Green flag is out. They stay side by side down in the corner. As Eric Iosu moves into third, your front row staying right together with LeVay on the outside, Dancer on the inside. Coming down off the corner, LeVay gets the bite out of turn four. He takes the lead. Louis LeVay Jr. out in front in the number 83. Running here in lap number five. Battle going on, look at Abold on the outside. They got a fire in the number 95, a fire in the 95 on the back end of that car. Abold on the outside, trying to make a run at him. Look at the 95, it's got a flame in the back of it. As we bring out the yellow flag. Schillick pulls to a halt down here, comes right down to the firing squad here as the track safety crew going to hit it with the uh, fire extinguisher. They had a fuel problem earlier. I believe that's why they missed the first feature. the 95 of Schulich down here. He is out of the car. He is okay. Off the fourth corner, green flag with a 83 of LeMay Jr. out in front. Once again, trying to pull away from Dancer. Look at that move down to the inside by Abold. Abold up in the number five spot now as he makes a good run on the inside, coming down into turn number one. LeMay out in front now. Dancer able to keep up with him this time. LeMay not able to pull away so far. LeMay out in front. Dancer running second. Iosu in third. Then it is the 94 of Rivals, 05 of Abold. LeMay Jr. out in front. 15 laps have now been completed. 15 down. Bellinger into the pits in the 02. Bellinger had moved up into the uh, top 10 nicely and now finds himself back in the pit area. And LeMay into the pits. LeMay into the pits. He has dropped out while leading the feature. Louis LeMay Jr. with a problem goes to the pits. That gives the lead to Dancer. Dancer out in front. Iosu running second. 
Ravels is third, Sidderley fourth, Abel rounds out the top five. They've got to clear track ahead, two laps to go. Dan's around in front, here's Sidderley to the outside. Sidderley now going to slingshot out of turn number two, hasn't got the room. They'll come around this time to take the white flag. It is on uh, the 52 of Dan's around in front. Sidderley looks to the outside, back to the inside, white flag is out. Abel has closed ground. He's got the fastest car out there. Abel has closed ground on Iosu. Here's Sitterly to the inside. Sitterly takes the lead on the last lap, but drifts out. He drifts out. Danzer retakes it. Here comes, here comes Iosu. It is Danzer for the win. Iosu in second. Sitterly third. Abel fourth. Ray Bowles rounds out the top five. David, back in victory lane. It's been a little bit, but... Great run, you got out there, you didn't look back. Uh, that was Louis LeVay Jr.'s race to the win. I mean, that was his, they did a phenomenal job. I mean, he wrecked that thing twice last, I mean, uh, twice a couple weeks ago, and I can't believe how good he was. I didn't, he sailed it in there, I couldn't believe it stuck, so I kind of had to, he definitely had a better car than I did. I seen Otto coming, and the car just got worse and worse as it went. It was just, I just made it way too tight. I should have loosened it up a little bit, and I just couldn't rotate the center where Otto, I mean, that was, I knew he was kind of blowing in there, and so I kind of backed my corner entry up, hoping he washed up the track. Luckily, he did, so I'll take it. Well, I didn't see you. I, I saw him down the back stretch and missed him out the back. Did he Did he get by you and, and wash up? We, I missed that part on the jumbo track. Oh, yeah, he was by me. He was by me, and then he was up in the third groove. And, uh, I mean, he's got this car figured out. And, I mean, he's doing a heck of a job. Hawksby's helping him out pretty good. <laughs> but tonight I'm going to... Probably say a monkey was probably driving the seven. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Well, anyone you want to thank before we get done here with this? I got to thank all my guys. I mean, this has been a thrash to try to get this car done. Joey Hawksby helped us out this week. He set the thing up. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Bokum's first win with us. Uh, I got to thank Mike Murphy doing the tires. Uh, I, I got to thank my father for putting me where I am. I mean, my family and uh, Brandon, Brian. I got to thank everybody. Hope I didn't forget anybody. And I'll probably thank Doug's Barbershop, too. All right, man. Hey, congratulations. Burke's Home Center, Roscoe's 35 winner tonight. David Danzer, let's hear it for David.